Hello everybody, it is your man Raz coming to you from uh, one of the first maps released for FS19. This is Boulder Canyon Logging Map. Um, I believe it's by Beardshot Gaming. It's hard to see down there, but Beardshot Gaming. Uh, you can check out their Facebook page.com for Beardshot Gaming and get a download link. I'll also provide a link down in the description. Also, a couple videos um, some buddies of mine made of uh, kind of their their look at the map. So let's get this fired up real quick, and I'll I'll tell you what we're going to be doing. All right, if you've noticed, we're in the farm manager mode. Uh, this is this is your spawning point up here on top of this uh, this mountain, and overlook the whole. The whole canyon, Boulder Canyon. So what I'm going to do on this series is we're going to do a little logging. Of course, it is a logging map, but uh, with a placeable, a cell point placeable, we're going to convert slowly, slowly over time, convert this whole, not the whole map, but we're going to get into regular farming. We're going to do this kind of like a homestead. We're going to... Um, start with like cutting down some trees because of course we got to clear some area we're going to find a plot of land to buy um that's why i, I was going to do the start from scratch but unfortunately you really don't have enough money to purchase property and get started um so i would really recommend farm manager mode um to get going that way you, you start with that 1.25 million so i tell you what let's let's get into this let's find out what we can do all right so let's uh let's open up the map and I've kind of pre-scouted a little. Um, these are all your sections of land you can buy. As you can see, they're they're fairly expensive. Um, not fairly, very expensive. Uh, some of them are manageable. Here by the gas stations, three hundred fifty-six thousand. Here around the stores, five fifty-one. But I think what we're going to start with, we're going to start with this area too. Um, and you'll see why. We've got a little flat area that we can put some placeables down. Um, I kind of walk around. It's fairly level. Yeah, I think it would make some good fields once we get clicked in. So let's just go ahead and get that bought. Yeah, let's spend the money. Ouch. Okay. Uh, first things first. Let's, and then, really don't have a way to tab there. Um, so what we're going to do is... We gotta buy some logging equipment, and we got seven hundred ninety thousand dollars to get started. So let's see, let's see what we can buy. I mean, ultimately, we need some way to cut it down, some way to haul it, and some way to load it. Um, I really think a wheel loader would be the best option, but maybe a yeah telehandler i used to load with telehandlers let's see um let's look at what we got for telehandler log fork yeah let's do a wheel loader log fork and unfortunately really wish we had a log fork with straps we did in 17 this is this is going to be challenging to say the least so, I'll tell you what, we will buy. Let's go with a tractor. Front load. Because we're going to end up using the tractor anyway. So. Uh, I'll tell you what. We're going to go with uh, the Scorpion King. I got this modded version that cuts 12, uh, 12 meter cuts. Um, and we're going to go with that. It's going to chew up a big chunk. I, I don't know if we should lease it. Let's buy it. I, I'm going to go with leasing this logging equipment because I really think that it'd probably be better suited to lease it so we'll just go with the standard setup um 
the track, it doesn't change the least cost too much. $140. Yep, let's go with this. Might as well go big, right? Let's go Magnum. Let's do it. Let's tab into our vehicle here. Get it drive on up to our purchase point. Slow moving. Oh, I got it on. Change my settings here. Miles. I'm really looking forward to see what we can do here. See what we can... Uh, we're going to do what we can. If we run into any errors, we'll run into errors. Uh, this We're new into 19, so we may get problems. We may not. I hope that we don't. But we could. Possibility does exist. But you never know what might happen. Never know. Rev up here to our spot too. I think we'll start with leasing. I really think that'll give us the best option for for making it work. Up here now. Kind of put a plan in place. I'm gonna try to keep his videos to about 20 minutes. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of stuff off off screen and then bringing, you know, shooting the videos when we do something different, something new. That way everybody can kind of see how it progresses. I think this is a really nice little starting area. Uh, we can put down some some sheds. We can put down a silo eventually. And like I said, the, the ground around here is not, not ridiculously hilly. I think we could really make some good fields out of this. So. Stop that. We need... Let's see. Do we want the crane? Nah, I'm not a big fan of the crane. I just, I, I can't use it. I'm horrible at using it. I've just never been able to use it, so. Let's go to forestry equipment. Where are we at? There we go. We'll start with logs first. I'd, I'd like to get into wood chips, but I think we're gonna go with this timber runner. And that's not too expensive. And we're gonna go with wide tires. We're up here in the woods, so got dirt roads. Let's go ahead and buy that. And of course, we need ourselves a truck. Uh, let's see, we can do warrior, which has got a four hundred. I mean, I think that's gonna be plenty big enough. Four hundred. I mean, I don't know how many horse we were to start with. Go with the warrior. Let's see. I like the black. The black is nice. Crimson's nice. Maybe. Olive. Eh. Metal. John Deere yellow. Fent Nature Green. Yeah, just because it sounds nice. Let's go with that. Go ahead and give that a buy. Jump into our truck here. I could buy a low loader, all stuff up, but it's not too far from the shop. So. <laughs> did, you, did you like how that happened? The truck slid over to attach the trailer. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I think we have any trailer options. Do you have tension be belts? That's a good thing. Get up here. Tracks on the dirt. And the size of this map is unbelievable. It's so it's less than 100, 100 megabytes for the whole map. But then, I mean, there's nothing on it. It's just trees. Trees and roads, and uh, I said you only have one cell point. It's over there at the sawmill. There's one fuel refill point. Like I said, I don't know if there's any problems in the map. I really haven't tested it. So, kind of be a live play, let's play test. Oh, 
Okay, so we got the 12 meter Ponzi, so we can cut long logs. We're gonna try to fill the part that. Now, to put them in, I say we just go with the, go with the wheel loader. Go big or go home. Again, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna buy the wheel loader. I just, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna buy it. I can always buy it later. Nokian tires, those are kind of cool. I don't know how practical they are. Michelin tires, Arrow twins, yeah, we don't need big ones. I like the Nokians, I like how they look. At least that, let's get our log fork here. What's that? I need, do I have auto engine start on? I can't remember what. Yeah, we can turn that off, turn that off, that off, that off, that off, that off. Default user growth normal, plant weather on, crop destruction on, yeah, with lime card on, weeds on. Yeah. Plant grows slow for now. I don't know if it's really gonna change anything. Check the log, I don't see any issues. We got some warnings from the timber vendor. Yep. I think we got our stuff. I think this will get us started. Turn on my mouse sensitivity here. I'm gonna try not to jerk the camera around, but I like my mouse mouse sensitivity high for when I do. Loading work. I'm a keyboard player, if you don't know. Um, no real story to this. We're just going to be playing around, having some fun, hanging out. Hanging out. Telling you about myself. I'm new to Farm Sim. I actually picked up Farm Sim. The first time I ever played uh, Farm Sim 17 was on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, and I, I put the little card in, fired it up. Now my kid played it for like 30 minutes. Everybody went to bed that night, and I was like, eh, I'm not tired. So I fired it up, I tried it out, and wouldn't you know, like five hours later, I'm up, and I'm like, man, this game is amazing. So I played played Go Chris Valley on Nintendo Switch, and if you don't know anything about Nintendo Switch, no mods. They have no mods at all available for Nintendo Switch. Um, or at least when I had the game on Switch, it didn't. We actually didn't buy it. We had it on... Uh, we had it... Um, it's a game fly thing, a rental thing. All right, so I know uh, controls have changed a little bit. Fired up. Let me. Not sure if I'm a fan of the new controls, but I tell you what, Man, let's scout a little bit. Let me see. I'm thinking we should start clearing like here down to the road. Maybe. What do you guys? I think that's probably probably be a best option for now. So we'll start clearing down to the road. I don't know. We're just gonna start cutting some trees. Cutting some trees and doing some loading. Anyway, back to my story. Uh, so Nintendo Switch is where I first started playing Farm Sim. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, had a lot of fun with the game. Alright, gotta lift up. Yeah, see, it used to all be with the left mouse button, so I guess things have changed. Gonna haul back here. Oh, see, I do that every time. Change cut length. That's a chunk of firewood. So we're gonna do these big, long 12 meter cuts. Load it in with the wheel loader. If the wheel loader would pick it up, 
We're about to find out, aren't we? I'd like to get a place cut to put down our our home. So our home's going to be this little guy right here. Farm tent. Uh, tent with spawn point time advance function. So that's our that's gonna be our house. This is way too expensive to start with, so this is gonna be our house. Uh you can get that over at PCSG. I can put the link down below. If I remember, I will try. Uh, that's done by um, my buddies I met over at Farmer Klein's Discord. Um, Darren Castle, he did that. He, he's made some really, really, really cool mods that I've really enjoyed playing. He did a South Mountain Kramer edit that was awesome. Um, Willow River, which is a you can't, you'd never be able to tell is a, uh, is an edit of Goldcrest Valley. That you, I mean, it's imposs almost impossible to tell. I don't know what I'm doing here. I've never been good with this Ponzi, but keep trying here. Turn it off for now. To get a stump grinder, grind some stumps at some point. Back. I'm trying to make a halfway decent pile. See, my skills aren't the best. Tip the I do that oh, in my head. Okay. I don't know if you guys are seeing that, but kinda got locked up there. Just for a second. Seen the ear loss. Probably my PC. Sorry about that. Running, my system's not. It's kind of mid to low end. It's it's not the. I can run stuff on pretty decent decent graphic settings, but um, computers 2004, 2005. It's an older computer, so and I've updated the graphics card one time. I'm running RX. MDRX, I can't remember. Oh. Sure, just, just run over the logs there, Raz. Anyhow, I've completely digressed from my story. So I picked it up on on Twitch, had a had a great time playing the game, and um, looked around on the computer and I was like, oh, that farm sim for the PC. And I was like, well surely it's better than on the Surely it's better than on the Twitch, right? I mean, you would think it is. So, um, I think it was on sale. The Platinum Edition was on sale. So, I grabbed it. Got in there. Opened up the game, and I saw this thing called Mods. I was like, what? And then I opened up Mod Hub. I'm like, no way. Like, I didn't know the game had mods. There's all these different maps. I mean, the only maps I knew about were the, the three maps that came with the Platinum Edition. I was like, there are more maps? This is this is crazy. And so I've been playing Armsome ever since, since early 2018. Loving every every minute of it. It's been a lot of fun. So hey, well, we'll cut one more set of trees and we'll see if we can do some loading. Test our metal here at the behind the wheel of the wheel loader. Probably gonna be horrible, but we will do what we can. I hope the physics are a little better. I'm not sure. I know the physics for uh, physics for 19 were a little broken, or for 17. Like these log forks would fall, like the logs would fall out, and so forth, so on. Up and down. I'm gonna. 
Which I should have went with the Ella Handler. This thing. Uh, should be able to get him in there. All right. I'll try to make this as un not so much uh, screen jerking around and stuff. So. Yeah, this. This may work out horribly. It may work out well. I really don't know. I don't, I'm not quite sure the best way to... And, oh man, this is going to be so much pain. So much pain loading these things. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Not without an auto load. There's these stole log forks on uh, Concentrating. This is going to be awful. This is going to be awful. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. Anywho, um, let's cut this off. I'm going to do some playing around off camera. See if I can figure out how to load these things. I may, I may have to go to hand loading. I, mean, I really don't want to. But I'm I'm just I don't know how to pick these things up. Um, we'll try one more time. I just maybe go flatter. Think go flat there. That'll work here. That's it's like there's not enough pressure. Just kind of scoot the. See what I mean? Like the, they don't want to ever stay in there. Maybe, maybe that, maybe the 12 meter cuts aren't gonna work. Yeah, this is horrible. Try grabbing the middle here. Look at there. Now they're stuck and they won't come out. I was really hoping they would have fixed the, their physics before we got into logs. Anywho, as you watch the disaster unfold, again, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I'm going to do a lot of this off camera. That way you don't have to watch me torture myself and, and you guys don't have to watch the horrible torture. But yeah, this we're going to try this out. We're going to try this um, try out the, the Boulder Canyon logging map. We're going to try to clear out an area and do some regular farming. Um, like I said, I don't know if we're going to have to return all this big stuff and cut by hand. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to have to do. See what we can make happen. Until next time, um, everyone have a great day. Stay safe, and uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks.